We'll be deploying to Russia for this one. Alien activity continues to surge Lunar. within several major cities. Our response is crucial to minimizing the spread of panic. On Operation Blinding Spark. Pray for good luck and good times. Wouldn't it be fun to get a campaign beyond the first day? I think so. Central, this is you hate Delta's guy. hair? Oh, he's got the beaver Roger, cut. Big sky. Reading you five by five. Strike one has the green light for deployment. Okay. 14 aliens. Thank you as always for your patience and waiting. The kitchen is open. Okay. We are on the left side, I think. And note that spawns are going to be coming in from this direction. They're going to be coming from this corner right here. Yeah, I know where I'm at. This is the reverse side of the map. You got the dozers there, so if you push up to here, you'd have to push up to there to hold what you want to hold, which means finding the rest of the map, which is not a good idea. Thank you, Lunar. Appreciate it. Hope you enjoy. Now, for future reference, there is true high ground. It's a three step. I forgot that, that mountains like this are three steps by default, I think. Either way, it, it is true high ground. Didn't bring a sniper, but the LMG can make use of it. Not from here, this is two step. One, two. Two step isn't good enough for height advantage, you need three steps. So one, two, three. This is height advantage. So if you get an LMG here, they're going to have long You do lines. a donation from bad trattino basso, why trattino basso per? May the mind force be with you. Two greys. You can have one grey for two dollars. I'll give you one. There you go. It's two dollars each for a grey, but you can have one. Good try, though. I don't usually check the, the amount of money, to be honest. I trust everyone implicitly. But in your case, the the scale is so small that even I was able to just see at a glance that that was not correct. I can tell the difference between $2 and $4. One sectoid. On the menu. Thank you. Someone just spends, like, $5 and is like, Could I have a cyber disc, please? No, you cannot. Wait, I thought you switched the sectoid in drone price. No, I didn't. That's a scurrilous rumor. Alright, one sexy on the list. That log hill is a good loss blocker. Yeah, you can be here. Okay. How do I play this? No motion tracker. We've already got an alien coming in from the other side. See what you mean. Good loss blocker here. Is this the perfect LZ to hold? No, because that's if the tiles are one further back and I could hold the cover. But what am I gonna have? One, two, three. New do a donation from Godisk. Hunker, hunker. Six cyber discs. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna write down. Fuck you on my notepad. Thanks so much for your two dollar donation, though. Um, I think this is the kind of spawn and map where rushing forward is a bad idea. The map is too big to reliably clear close contact, I think. My squad isn't really built well for it either. The map is quite wide. New oh, donation from the drone. Yep. That's uh, up to eight. Eight, eight aliens bought. France, but you know what would go well with that? Cervizza Crystal. I is that right? You did send me the web. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. <laughs> One. Oh. New quattro donation from bad trattino basso ai trattino basso. Oh. oh. My bad, honestly. Just set up up. Really wasn't he trying to cheat. No, you're good. Here is the quattro dollari for two grays. No, you're good. You're good. I, I was not trying to imply that you would be so scurrilous. No, no, no. It's just a little accident. I know it's a little accident. I'm going to add two more sectoids to the list for you. There you go. So that's nine. There's five more aliens left to buy. Does, does this mean we also get the six discs? No. It does not. Oh, shit. I got to reset my Kofi um, goal, too. 
Not that anyone really pays attention to it, probably, but I gotta reset it. Oh. New 25 oh. donation from Arensica. <laughs> Thank you, Arensica. One disc. What? What do you mean, reset? <laughs> Since when? Yeah, that's 10. 7, 8, 9. Oh, you're right. I can't count. That's 10. You can only buy four more aliens. Thank you, Herenska, for the big <laughs> tip. You got a big tip, Herenska. Thank you so much for that. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. No, you need a special mod for it, Sovieta. You gotta get in touch with me if you wanna do the gimmick. Um, you need a mod from SWF. Um, so that you can do the gimmick. I gotta give it to you. Just PM me, um, and I'll, I'll send you what you need. Uh, SWF made it for this gimmick, and, and you can do it too, if you get it off me. Yeah, it's a special mod SWF made so that it bypasses those restrictions unless you spawn leaders. <laughs> oh, you can also just ask SWF if you want it. Um, but I'll try to remember if you DM me to give it to you. Yeah, PM me and I'll try to get it to you. Anyway, look, what I've been trying to decide here, Chad, is I think this might be a good place to hold. If we push up, it's wide sight lines as well, so you're likely to get into a long-range fight. You're gonna get flanked, you're not gonna be able to kill the sector, it's gonna suck. You're gonna get L-shaped. I think the two sanest things we could do is, one, push really hard to the right side of the map and get, like, a wide line going before the enemy gets here. Two, and I think this might be the right idea, just hide. Hide in the back of the, of the, the map, wait until aliens come and destroy them. And the reason I say that is because it looks like a bad way for them to engage me. As the chatter pointed out, good loss blocker here. This works well against me because it chokes them. They can only... The drones can do whatever they want, but the sectoids can only come in here or around this corner. That clumps them real hard as well. If I was brave enough to take this position, you could even, like, lock off this side, but then they can just hit you from here. So better to just, I think, go, like, cluster around this side. Don't break loss. I mean, keep loss broken. Don't get lost beyond this hill. If we can afford to. And then you've got a grenadier up close here to grenade if they get to this tile. You're going to have a rocket ready. This, I think, is the way to do it. We're not going to get any meld, obviously. Um, but that's what it is. So, actually put the gunner there. And probably rocketeer here. No, gunner here. Gunner here of height advantage. Rocketeer. Engineer. Yeah, it's more funny for the Megtoid Lance, but you all knew that was going to happen. And we're just going to hope we don't get padded into from the right, and we're going to try to take out 14 aliens from this direction. So LMG is going to come here in a second. I want Parker to, like, check if it's clear. Heading out. Yep, you're good. LMG come here. Rocket has shitty aim right now, so bring it up closer so that you're likely to, to actually get it off. Um, the people who are not going to have full cover trees are going to need to hunker. Oh, I could have been here too as well for the rocket if I wanted. Probably Medic goes here. You make sure, okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So you don't want to be there because that's the perfect position to get fucked by the sectoid who stops here. Who otherwise I don't think can actually see us. So don't take that tree. Better to half cover here in a second. I think. Got it covered. Overwatch. 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 Spawning ten aliens at the start of this turn. Next turn. Okay, let's do it. I hear drones out there. I hear sectoids. I see a berserker. Muton elite. Oh, never mind, folks. Oh god, there's two mutons and an elite. Wait, I need glasses. <laughs> what's what's a gold alien? I don't think there is one. Guys, a chrysalid. <laughs> Guys, so many, so many chrysalids and sectoids. Oh my god, more berserkers lying down. All right, right here. So we're gonna go. I check this every time because I'm always like, why did I make this a menu item? But it is seven, isn't it? Yeah, it's five drones and two sectoids. So immediately, five drones. Uh, no, sorry, the first thing was a sectoid. The first sectoid, then one, two, three, four, five, and two more sectoids, six, seven, and then 
Two more sectoids. Then we're good. Thank you very much, everyone. The orders are out. Barley says, I just imagine the sectoids come on during the construction agreement to run your overwatch. That would be very cute. I would accept that from how cute it would be. Okay, now we're going to stick to my guns here. Stick to what I wanted to do, which is... Scoot. I want to kind of... Check if I can take this position without, break, without getting lost too far forward. Yeah, it's kind of okay. If there's like a flying drone, you'll probably see it, but otherwise it's fine. Good to know for the future, you know? Like when I want to actually do that. Your will is terrible, so you should not be there in case you get mind-gamed. You should be, like, hunkered somewhere else. Mm, you probably can't see that spot, though. That's probably fine. Just have someone else, like, Delta block your step out. It's actually really smart. Not Delta, but um, the Rook. Bring the Rook over. The and we'll use the Rook to block the step out there. I'm actually so smart. That's actually genius, and I'm very clever. Now, our rocket angle should be gravy. We've got that zeroed in. Yeah, this is good. I want that mod. I've wanted that mod for almost 10 years, but fans are very scum too. I want the, the, the random hats for Sectoids mod. Yeah, I could probably get it. I'm not even gonna go for it. I need to put the booing sound effect on my screen, on my uh, stream deck. Who had the high will? Delta does in general, but Delta's the medic. I don't really want to put the medic in that position. We'll do a count locked instead. It, the rook. And you can be elsewhere, so we'll put you here, see what this reveals. Not much, that's good. We're going for meld, we, we are not going for the meld. The drones probably will get here first, so I might even keep Overwatch running for most of these gamers, except for you, you're going to hunker. You're most likely to get shot. Corden says, you know, $10 now if your mortgage is worth more than $10 later because of interest. God, I wish I could afford to fucking do more than the minimum payment. <laughs> I'm just happy to make the minimum payment. Shit, I gotta check if I made the minimum payment this month. I think I did. Guys, okay, sorry, I actually need to check that right now. Fuck. Did I? It's the end of day anyway, it doesn't matter. I'll check it afterwards. <laughs> I, I, th I think it'll be okay. So, I think just keep making the same moves now. Steady. The faster I make these same moves, the less stuff gets bought to come in at the same time. If anyone even buys the last four slots. In reality, Beagle is making an RNG roll on whether or not he paid the minimum. Yeah, the RNG roll of losing the late game campaigns that pay better. That's right. Where's your mortgage payment, Beagle? The banker asked me on the phone. Whoa! Where's the mortgage payment, Beagle? Whoa! As I say back, oh, I, I missed the 50%. Swift made the sectoids have leader levels. That was a nice shot, by the way. Good damage, good aim. Very good. So we're one drawing down, down to nine bot aliens. Same to aim, by the way. Yeah, who was that? Was that... Parka, I think? I think that was the, the min-max soldier. That is how it goes, like, this person shows up in your D&D &D campaign, just like, max to the shit. Just like, starts slaughtering bears with like, a basic short sword. No min-max would take the short sword, well, depends on the character build, actually. Sorry, I, I think in terms of everyone's a fighter. Bum. I gotta play Baldur's Gate again. Why did that person not update their Cabal mod, goddammit? Everyone again. Dritzed, oh Parker boy. <laughs> yeah, Dex build shorts on, yeah.
Philip says, Beagle seems like the person who play a human fighter every single time. Uh, that was me for a very long time. Then I started playing furry characters. And now recently, because of Baldur's Gate, I started playing other character classes as well. So eventually I got there. Round of applause for me, maybe. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna play Rogue Trader again, that's true, early. Hello. I think the drone noises are awesome, honestly. I love their little woos! Which classes? Um, Cleric. A little bit. I haven't played much, to be fair, but like, I, I tried. Started playing Cleric. Because of Shadowheart. Um, I was open to ranging. Open to maging too. Get it, get it, get it. Nice! Two down. Barley says, don't you love having more good games to play than days in the week? Barley, I could play Helldivers till I died right now. Hell yeah. Hey, are they in the open? Like straight up? Is that motherfucker in the open right there? Are they, are, are they just pushing in the open? Are those motherfuckers for real right now? How far can that rocket shoot? Am I about the sectoid max? I think I'm about the sectoid max. What you do now is go full full feral and play a goat monk. <laughs> okay. <laughs> sure. <laughs> I'll take your word for it. Hang on, I need to see what the rocket looks like because do I want to move up to that log? Yeah, there there's no way. There's no way that rocket hits that log. There's no way. So, rush across. Account is locked. Show me what we're dealing about here. Hello, sectoids! Oh, yeah. What? Okay, now I can get the grenades in too. I'm gonna have to rocket this. I will rocket this. Wait a minute. What happened to my good rocket that I had here? Hey! Wait a minute! Where'd my rocket go? Didn't I have one back here? What the fuck? Oh, there it is. There it is. I, I don't know. Anyway, there it is another one over there too okay so the rocket goes there uh three three tiles scatter beagle why didn't you steady it i, I did this is steadied well there's a good chance it does nothing but you're all my fans so you'll pray that it does something right wouldn't that good I mean, it killed a drone. Like, it's not bad, it's just not good. Okay, I actually need to, rather than taking a shot, probably fall you back. Wait, no, what am I talking about? I need to AP. I need to AP the shit out of you fuckers. Yeah, you can't even see me from there. Get fucked. Come to here, we're gonna AP you fuckers. Oh, yeah! That's the bodies? Yeah, fuck the bodies, that's right. We don't give a fuck. Ah! Never AP anybody? Damn, you can't, like, actually give it to me. What about you? Nine. What if you moved, Delta? Then I think it's okay. Yeah, yeah, move this one, then the other one can reach, I think. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. I'm rolling. Parka. Boy! Oh, that's a shit one. That's a shit one. That's a shitty nade. Damn! It's because you're gonna deer, you have the extra range, I forgot. Okay, so not ideal. I can kill two. 
I want to kill more, though. If I don't kill them now, they'll run up to here. And as long as I smoke the half cover, like, it's fine. I can just get a better AP in a second, I think. Probably better to break loss. They might hide under the rocks and I just grenade them, then I tile scan and grenade those fuckers. I just need to smoke. Three, five, can you get back there? Three, five, seven, seven. Three, five, seven, seven. Oh yeah, I can get that smoke. I think I can get that smoke. Oh, can I get that smoke? I don't know if I can get that smoke. I do not know. What are the odds to kill a mine measure with a pistol? Oh, it's not about that. I just need more than one kill if I'm going to stay here and get mine fucked in that position. Because then you're stuck. We don't want to do that. I think I've got this smoke. I think I'm going to throw it. I think I've got it. Flashbang your squad with full effect. I don't think I can actually... You can't sell flashbang in, it, in this XCOM. Yes, Commander. Okay, do a little reload. Hi, Will. Do a little reload. <laughs> Gotta take shorter range rockets, I think. Should've waited. I thought about it, but I didn't. I was like, should've waited till they get to here. But I was like, look at A to get him then. Which they will. At least I killed the drone. The drone would've been an issue. But uh, not really what you want out of a rocket there. But you also need to level Rocketeer so they can start helping you sooner, so... It is good to have the Rocketeer on the squad, just... Not as good as it could be. I did consider putting the Rocket Outlog, yeah. Yeah, I did, but I didn't. I probably should have actually just put the Rocketeer further up, yeah. Ow! Would you kill like four? Yeah. Quite possibly. It's not too late. Might move him up this upcoming turn and steady if I can reach. Alright, it begins. Okay. No! What's happening? No, no, this, this isn't right! This isn't right! I don't like it. 2%. We're good. He's flanked? Who's flanked? The sector is. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, they are. Is that the rookie? No, that's the grenad. Oh, fuck, that's the engineer. That's okay, because the others can get you. One, two. These ones are all killable with guns, but one grenade lets us use more stuff on other shit. Like shotgunning that drone. I would like to move Delta so I can steady the rocket in a sec. God, these big, these big chunky HUD indicators. I mean, Delta should move up and heal you anyway, so I need to move you to account as locks. Oh, I want to move you to. Because these three towers are the only ones smokable. Which is awkward. I'll probably bring you back and shotgun Overwatch, keep the drone away, actually. I just realized. You'll grenade. Okay, so you grenade first up. Is there a se uh, sectoid there? No sectoid's there. So give us one. Right there, right there. Going out. Now this can't fail. Wow. Wow. Okay. So we're going to have to waste another grenade there. Just stopping up for the arc throws. Oh yeah, no, you're right. Oh yeah. I mean, yeah, that's not for these mission types, luckily. Three, five, seven, seven, seven. We'll go. Come here, you. Really don't like to waste two APs here, but fuck it. Going out. So that's three sectoids down. 
Let me keep track here, chat. That's three sectoids down. And two drones? I didn't get another sectoid there. So we're down five out of ten. There's not many of them left, because no one ever bought the last four aliens. Which is surprising. Finally, people's appetites appear to have been wetted. People are full. Yeah, or, or chat's broke. Yeah, chat just lost their houses. We're gonna heal you. New auto donation <laughs> from there you go. Okay, they're bought. They're bought. They're bought. They're bought. You didn't have to. I'm sorry, you didn't have to. We're maxed out. Thank you. The last four sectors have been bought. Do you offer financing for aliens? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, start the next turn. Four more sectoids. Yes, yeah, so that is a two each, yeah. Thank you for maxing out the orders. No more orders, thank you so much. Four more sectoids incoming. What is this stream? Oh, guys, no one's... No one's hit the quota. Fine, I guess someone literally has to buy him. No, I mean, you, no, you don't. It's okay, I'm sorry, you don't. Okay, bring the Rocketeer up. Orange Punch says, wouldn't adding more aliens make the game easier in the long run? Yes, if you never get killed by them. Yes. I'm going to suppress that one so it doesn't just rush into the smoke because that sounds super annoying. Alien <laughs> Parker Boy says, chat, you'll notice my give me money sign is still lit up. <laughs> <laughs> How would leasing aliens work anyway? You get them from a certain number of turns and I and then I kill alien nearest to cursor once the turns are up. I loan you a sectoid for like three turns. You can't afford a cyber disc, but you can afford it for like two turns and then someone else takes over your loan and like continues it so it doesn't get- <laughs> That's so fucking mean. I'm, I'm not gonna do that, it's a joke obviously. I, I feel like I, I'm compelled to say that because that's such a fucking capitalist live service hell idea. Guys, the cyber disc is about the flank kill is about to expire. It's just a joke, guys. Don't worry, I would never. I'm greedy enough as it is with this gimmick as well oh, already. One. <laughs> Alien subscriptions, yeah. One. Sectoid. Two. So it was five drones and five sectoids. That's all the sectoids. I've killed two drones. There's one more drone I can't see. Okay, boom. We know where everything is right now. Oh, wait. Hang on. Except for the new ones we're going to order. Can you imagine, Tiberius? You come to my stream and it's just like opening Rage Shadow Legends. One. Two. Before you can get to the stream content, it's just like four splash pages of like $150.99. Best value pack! Five sectoids! Lol, never getting sponsored again. I guarantee there will be two more raid sponsorships before the end of this year. I bet you I will be sponsored by raid twice more before the end of this year. Once, that's like 99%. Twice, 80%. It'll happen. You have no idea how much they spam those things. Shotguns are gonna kill these drones now. We're gonna heal you again in a sec. So you're gonna come to here. Where's the other one? Do you get the dollars though? Yeah, they, they can't take it away. Don't worry, it's all good. Okay, you're gonna go to there, then you're gonna come to here. I think... Okay, 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 okay. Hmm. I'm gonna suppress that back one if I need to. How much money do you get from those? Good. I can see that in general with sponsorships, usually I'm getting paid around uh, 200 to 300 USD for a two hour stream, is like the average rate. Uh, for someone of my size in the industry. So, pretty good. Definitely very worth doing it. That's why you guys see me do the, the mobile games sometimes. Because it's it's worth the money, absolutely. Uh, 
Um, I'm gonna heal you. I'm gonna do that. That, 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 that. Is it better than chatter rate? Yeah. What do you mean? Uh, how do, where do I want to put you? You have the low will, right? Yeah, okay. So you're gonna come to here. You're gonna shotgun here. Boom. You make us give you five grand. Yeah, we, we realize that in the end is that, yeah, it, it's easier just to be a, be a sponsor company, yes. <laughs> Especially not a bad rate. No, it's not. Uh, as long as you know how to, like, negotiate, and the way you negotiate is you don't. The way you negotiate is they will always, every single person, I've had hundreds of them, every single person will approach you, like, unless they're, like, frack as, like, a AAA dev or, like, the Ogre Tactics guys, unless they're a big AAA who don't care. Everyone else will approach you and be in the email like, Hey, what's your rate? Never give them a number. Never ever. If you're doing this, if you're a streamer, if you're a content creator, never give them a number. Reply back, hey, what's your budget for this offer? Never ever give them a rate. They will always, 90% of the time, I've never seen anyone just not refuse to give me the number. 90% of the time, they will come back and say, here's what we'll pay you. It's just a little game they play to try and get you for less. But they have a number, they have a budget that they've been given most of the time if they're a marketing agency to spend on you. Just ask them, okay, what's the budget? Then when they say the budget, you take it or leave it. But they'll always try to do it. They'll always try to be like, oh, what's your rate? No, you know what my rate is because it's what you pay everyone else. Give it to me. Just a little advice there if you do do this for a job and you're starting out. Keep that in mind. Don't get, don't get caught. Don't get captured. Okay, you're gonna do that. You're going to... What's your defense? 32. You want to come back and hunker. You want to... We're gonna suppress you. Yep, 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 yep. Okay. Probably just gonna shoot you. I'm not gonna rocket two sectors on their own. So we're just gonna like this and break loss. I'm sorry. Did I, did I say break loss? <laughs> I meant do nothing. <laughs> Alright, so we are we are gonna suppress you. Uh Parker's coming back and I'm healing the everyone. Okay. You have low will. Low low dub. You step over. You heal. Uh no, I mean I guess anyone can log us, yeah. I mean that's what we were saying, is it was like the the thing, it was like, oh, if you've gifted a th gifted a thousand subs in the channel, I was like, well fuck, you get to pick a game I play for the day. Um, it was just a thing I did because people used to give so many subs. Like, uh, like, like, Pete and all that. But yeah, I mean, like, I, yeah, that's like around my rate. If you want a game played for two hours or for a stream, yeah, I mean, you, you can just do that. You don't need to, really, like. I'll probably just play it if I like the game and you let me know about it. But, um, if I'm not going to play it, yes, it is an option. Oh, it's only fair, because I take that money from companies, so why not from a private individual? $300 for two hours of tal talisman? Now hang on. How much does it make you play for Sigma for a stream? Oh, this just feels dirty, though. Like, I don't mind taking money from corporations, but... It feels wrong. I'm not going to charge you $300 USD to play a Rose Sigma, which I already like. That feels wrong. It's just, that's just being greedy. Uh, shotgun you. I brought in the four sectoids, right? Yeah, I did. I know I did. And <laughs> Charter names. Dark Souls 2. <laughs> Is it really great if you want it? I, don't know. I mean, yeah, probably. How much money would you charge us to what you play against in the Ethereal Ballistics? Now you guys are just saying, like, can we give you money to make you do anything? I mean, not necessarily. Oh, Commander. <laughs> but also, I guess, yeah. Anyway, you know, I feel like we've talked about this enough right now. Back to the, back to the game. Okay, back to the game. This, this is, this is getting out of hand. How many medkits do I have? Enough. Let's heal you up. Tycon says I can overlook corporate bribes, but private donations are where I draw the line. <laughs> I don't feel bad taking companies' money. How much to make you play Phoenix Point for a week? Five thousand dollars. Reload. Steady. And 
Overwatch. That's the caster says a month later, Beagle is gonna be one of those TikTok NPC streamers. Yum yum ice cream. Yeah, exactly. Just playing with Sigma like, mmm, recaf so good. Low sticks, yum yum. Heresy. Mm -mm. That's me. How much you go back to face camp for a single stream? Contract me. Send me a contract. What's your budget? <laughs> I have my face game on. Look, I'm down here. Ah! Uh! Uh! <laughs> Drop drone, it's okay. <laughs> ah! There, there it is. There's the mild noise. I wonder if these sectoids are gonna come. Oh, now I can hear it. Why do I say it like that? How much to finally test drop limit? Oh, I was testing today and I didn't even do it. I should have. I think I can get that one if I move to the right position. I want to keep the rocket ready, but I also want to take that flank. Just come a little closer, yeah? Heading there now. I'm rolling. That's affirmative. Voy hacia ese lugar. How much for all stream of HD Beagle Avatar? Free! <laughs> uh, I should put the LMG here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Oh, yeah, the LMG should go here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. The LMG should go in the back one, I think. No, I want to cover my right flank as well, though. It's fine. Everything is proceeding swimmingly. Locked and loaded. Everything is swimming. Everything is fine. There's no need to adjust my tactics. Things are going well. DJ says, oh, I'm on my flow and I missed the hyper-realistic one. Dang it. DJ Andy B. You are my favorite chatter. Hey, Swift, how you going? Second mission, Swift. I hear more drones out there, but I think, there's, I think there's like one active drone. The sectoids are like scared and don't want to push any further. That's fair. I'm scared too. So I understand that. I understand that very much. One, two, three... Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Maybe that's why the uh, the TikTok NBC thing um, unsettles me because I realize it's actually so close to what I already am. Just someone who is paid to basically respond to the things chat says, just in a less strict way, sure. But it's so close. It's like looking into the void of what I could be, you know. And I could just be saying close range for the rest of my life and getting paid for it. Parker, let's get a sectoid kill. That's affirmative. Hello, buddy. Oh yeah. No longer a threat. Five sectoids remain, one drone. Things are going swimmingly. I think this whole DLZ position is really good. I like the position a lot. Are you using the new anti-sectoid attack? Breaking loss? I sure am, buddy. No, I have got flashbangs in the squad, yeah. We, we have flashbang sectoids, Swift. It has happened. We got given one at the start of the campaign, which is how you know the campaign is like, hell yeah, flashbangs. Interesting position for a second there. Climb through the truck. Delta, return to this tree. Welcome. You come back. Move into position. Back in. Yes, the surveillance Overwatch. Yeah, so there's a breaking their own loss. How much for a motor pod? Five thousand dollars. I think I heard. Something. How much for a motor pod? <laughs> Twenty. Yes. Billion dollars. <laughs> You can send that by a check. 
<laughs> Hello! Die! <laughs> That's my, my favorite button on my keyboard right now, sorry. <laughs> Andy Barrico says Beagle turns a dial up while carefully watching the audience's response. Yeah, imagine me making that noise again. Oh, I'm, I'm gonna fake it now. <laughs> but like, imagine that I'm like just staring, completely coldly blank faced, at chat right now, like leaning close to the screen. Exactly. I'm like what people say Jerma actually is. Wait, I mean, I'm like what people say Jerma is, but isn't. I gave away a secret there. My friend Jerma doesn't murder people, sorry. That was... I wasn't meant to let that be known. I don't think they're gonna find me on the right, right? I wasn't even paying attention, I just killed one. Yeah, I did. I, I splatted them. Four sectoids remain. You know SWF dreamed Germa the other day? Because I talked about my dream of Germa. Germa's appearing in a lot of people's dreams. Anybody else in chat ever dreamed of Germa? Be honest. And I, please don't please don't joke. Like I want to see an actual census here. Please don't joke. Legitimately. Has anyone else in chat dreamed Germa? No clue who Germa is. That doesn't mean you haven't dreamed of Ninja. I'll show you a picture later. Go Google Germa's face. Tell me if you've dreamed him. Swift says, I was hanging out with Germa in a plain white room. You were hanging out with Germa in the virtual insanity room? You haven't dreamed of Germa? You've seen them? Oh, you're lucky. Did you touch the... <laughs> Why was I going to say that? Did you touch... Say, did you touch them? <laughs> like, he's, like he's the Pope, like he's God. Maybe I should break a loss here. Oh, I can get you. I can I can get you. Dr. Ryu says, I watched the dollhouse stream. Nice. When I had a fever and he thought I was watch. dying. That makes sense. Three sectoids left. I'm gonna put the dice on the field. I swear there's never a drone out there, but I might have miscounted. I just threw dice across my room. I got floppy fingers. The Germa dollhouse stream was the first time Jamal had ever seen Germa. And we just watched the whole thing from start to finish. And she does watch German now. She likes German now. That was her first ever experience of him. It's kind of crazy. I think in a in a crazy way it earned her respect. He's a true showman, yeah. It, it earned my respect too. I I actually also had never really watched German before that point, except for clips. Just here and there, vaguely knowing, ah, oh, it's a German guy. I seen like the, the the rock thing you did before that with like the the geologist, and I saw Dollhouse, and I was like, wow, this guy's serious. Like this guy is actually a true showman, and he's doing it right. Like this guy, this guy is an artist. Michelangelo da Vinci. <laughs> I did it wrong. Michelangelo, Leonardo da Vinci. I remain. Yeah, he's, you know, he he's a. I wish he was a mentor. He's he's a. What's the damn word? An example. He's an example to live up to. We're not going over there. I'm trying to decide where I want to go. I want to get off this spot because it, it's bad loss. I don't want to use that spot. I want Delta to come back up, I think. So you come back up to here. He's encrypted. Well, that, that's a different thing. Alir says, yeah, I knew German back when he mostly played TF2 and did that. It must be like, yeah, because... It must be like knowing me back when I just only played XCOM. Because German just used to only play TF2 and now he's expanded to, you know, be one of the greatest streamers in the world. Goes on all sorts of shows, has streamer friends in real life. Um, you know, respected by everyone, everyone loves him. And I, um... I mean, I'm still playing XCOM, but... <laughs> well, uh, look, a lot can happen in 10 years, and a lot can also not happen in 10 years, okay? No one, no one should be judging. <laughs> it's like knowing you through dark business. Yeah, it's like knowing me through armor, sure. Before I did XCOM, sure. Why not? <laughs> hey, well, you can start playing TF2 and see where that leads to. True. Did, was anyone a TF2 streamer who turned out to be bad? I don't think so, right? Oh, 
that's nice, Camelot. I didn't know that. Oh fuck, they can still see me. That's okay though, because you can just keep like punking them. I'm on it, Commander. I'm like, hey, you fucking idiot. Fuck your stupid crap, moron. Got when I'm getting like straight up pumped by this game, it's like, okay, well played. But when I get to like get them in this situation where the map is just right, the squad's there, and you can just like free kill them. Like you're hacking on like a Gmod RP server or something, it's just it's an incredible feeling. This is revenge. I've never hacked on a Gmod RP server. I've never hacked in a multiplayer game. I just want to beat those allegations. That was a metaphor. I said free killing and Gmod RP came to mind. Now you're not gonna hit me back. That was close. I think there's two left. Yep, two left. If they move to there, I don't get him. But I know the mind of the sectoid. This sectoid will not move to here. They will not move to here. The sectoid will go, oh, corner cover, and they're gonna get shotgun overwatched. Don't believe me? Watch. I feel commander. Watch. Aye aye. On overwatch. Baby. Hmm. Saturday night, we in the spot. Don't believe me, just watch. Ba 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 It's good. We've got one of those maps. We've got one of those maps, you know? It's what we need. One of those maps where you can just, like, get the AI into, like, a repeatable loop. That's it, baby. I think it's all the board aliens dead. Dunk those dice. I think I miscounted the drones, because the other one surely would have attacked by now. So, I think that's it. I think we killed all the board aliens. I think holding the LZ was the right uh, decision, definitely. It's just the fact that they choked, pointed so hard here, made it so much easier. Look at that. I mean, I know I've used it a lot today, but can I get a, can I get a round of applause, please? That's wrong. Thank you. That one's head is really light. Why is that? Why is your head so light? Wait, wait, cut, cut the applause. Why is that one's head different? Is that blood? Is that the blood of your friends? No. Are their heads usually like that? I guess I'm just used to shooting them from the front and not... I don't... Oh, those ones are kissing. Oh man, that one's back's broken though. Okay, anyway. So... We're gonna reload. Now we're probably gonna move to clear the other corner. Though, considering how well this has gone, maybe the best move is to peek out here first, try to pull other of the natural pods, because that was just the board aliens. We haven't activated any real pods yet. Go pull more pods and pull them back through this part of the map. Don't go to this side of the map until we're, we're done with this side. We'll just go this way, we'll clear these two corners. That way we control both sides of the highway, which is I've never done before actually, it'll be different. Um, if we control the third corner as well then, if we take contact over here, we can fall back to our strong line. If we take contact this way, we just fall back to the kill zone, Rimworld style. And if we get both of these corners without much of a fight, then we have free flanks on the last ones. Uh, Lunugo says, because it's racist to say that they look the same. I never said that, so I think you're racist for thinking that. You just got Jar Jar Binks'd. You got racism quicksanded. Oh, Twitch user said they're clones. Is it really racist? Get Twitch user. Twitch user's racist. Wait, wait, hang on. They might be learning how to do it so they can fight it from within. I forgot. <laughs> Jeff caught him. Too late. <laughs> Micro, shut up, Ingridon. I'm not not standing for you being funny right now. Reload. 
That's why the soldier has to be quarantined for side training. <laughs> it's like training in a hair. It's like training in a chat AI. Because <laughs> if they're not in the side chamber, they're not like picking up and being influenced by the latent like thoughts of people around them. <laughs> At first, when you just did, just did side training throughout the base, you didn't have to go on the tube for a week. That ended after the side soldier was being trained and heard Bradford walk past and heard their thoughts like, "Damn, Doctor Shen's ass looks incredible in those cargo pants. I shouldn't say that. That's unprofessional." That's why we built the tube. We built the tube because of that. Hmm. Really that. Back online. Okay, just in the zone. I got my eyes on. Oh, well, <laughs> XCOM thought crimes. The Pelican's gonna get you. What's making that noise? Blinky says, wait, what did I miss? I stepped away for ten seconds and heard microdosing racism. Well that's how it is on Twitch, you know, you you step away for ten seconds and you miss the hot new meme everyone's gonna be saying. Look out for that on Twitter after this stream, of course. I don't think Twitter needs any more racism. Racism, to be honest, I think it's good enough. Head into that location. Push you to here. On my way. Now we do want to advance the squad together now. Heading out. Because now we're going to be dealing with unactivated pods, which means potential Good Overwatch traps. Check. Reach you. Give it to suite. Do you see that weird... No, Blinky. No. no. Try harder. Not this time, chump. On Overwatch. I wasn't born yesterday! <laughs> Man, did you see that shot? <laughs> Man, did you see that sec D gun shot? <laughs> I'm on X oh shit! Sectors, can I get back to cover? Meanwhile, Sectors are like, HOLY SHIT! Now this is dangerous because they might- Oh, I'm so smart. They might go to the right, which is- It's dangerous, folks, it's dangerous. But I believe in my own power. We're gonna stay here so that they can't actually lost me from the right as easy. Yeah, back to the LZ, that's right. Back to back to the LZ, back to the LZ. Let's not get too excited here. Back to the LZ. Back to the LZ, everyone. Okay, okay. I'm on it, Commander. I'm on it, Commander. Moving. Oh no! Wrong button! Damn it! Now I can't rocket four sectoids in the drones that are about to activate on me. I think he says, well, someone's not getting their $2. You're gonna pay me $2 if I walk face first into your Secties Nuts trap. Is that what you're telling me? I will say it and you'll pay me $2. You promise? Oh, they're coming. Don't worry. They don't want to go to the left. They want to go into the... The tradition of their ancestors. One, two, three. Oh my god, they're all coming! Well, now it's not funny, so no. Okay, Blinky. Copy that. It wasn't going to be funny anyway. <laughs> Everyone agrees with me. Listen to them. You fool, Blinky. I am the chat, and you are the sword, Jack. Everyone's actual thoughts are like, shut the fuck up, Eagle. God damn. Make the move. Yeah, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm gonna make every single enemy on this map go through this a section, except for the drones. Every sectoid's going through the sectoid valley. 
I'm gonna form the sectoid cube in blood. I'm gonna be happy to do it. In Minecraft? No, right here! Right here in XCOM! Wait a minute, where'd they go? I had them. But they've fallen back. They've detected that something is wrong. Ooh, they were right there! That sector walked up, saw the bodies, was like, hmm... Environmental storytelling. Okay. But they still haven't decided to go left yet. And there's still like this one who's just like, I'll support. Earth Carfus, like, I'll stay in Fountain. Okay, that's fine. New do a donation from Sectoid Command. <laughs> okay, Sectoids. We lost a lot of soldiers around this corner, but I'm sure we got it New this time. New do a donation from <laughs> Mr. Tractivating the Elders Blink. Brothers. Wow! He can't believe the Eagles' last campaign died of Sigma. It's so fucking mean. If someone else has their donation running, and it's just like you barge them out of the way of like a bulldozer. Oh guys, I'm doing my set of command joke. Get the fuck out of the way! I'm doing my joke! I'm doing my Sekma joke! Get get the fuck out of the way! <laughs> thank you, Sector Command, for your donation, Blinky. I'm still deciding if I'm gonna thank you for yours. Real joke is when I get flanked. I'm not gonna get flanked. Quiet. Did you hear something? These sectors just need to be given a little bit of patience, a little bit of time, a little bit of care and understanding to understand that their only fate is to accept what they must do and go through the sector of Death Valley. They need a little bit of time to get through it. They're scared. They need to get shot in the truck. <laughs> Let's go, Brazil! Oh, where was the second one? That's such a nice position. Remember this position forever. This position can shoot the truck without being shot at by people taking cover on the truck. That is exceptional. Can I double it up? Don't be greedy. Don't be greedy. Just accept what you're given. Accept what you're fucking given, streamer. Parker says, if this was NBA Jam, my shoes would be on fire. That game sounds awesome. Nah, it's just because he's got jam in the name. I love jam. Sammy says, Int introduce Yuku to Malvel on Creek tonight. I had a great time. I want to go to Malvel on Creek with Yuku. I miss him. Just keep checking the note here, and... Yeah, they're, they're just scared. They'll come. Don't worry, they'll come. Don't be scared. They will come. There's no need to do anything. There's no need to move. There's no need to do smart tactics. Because this was the smart tactic. Oh, now I just press Y, okay? At least one of you is probably here amongst the 499 viewers. And they're like, why do people come to this guy? It's like your first time here. You're like, this is it? He just overwatches? I could do that. Yeah? Go do it. Go to Bexcom right now and go overwatch. Prove it. Well, that one's pushing. Do you think they're brave enough to actually figure out the secret to go around? One, two, three, four, five, six. No. They're not brave enough. <laughs> Thank you, subject. You've put that back in my head for the next ten years again. It's been a while. Dr. Danger says, I never figured out what button Overwatch is. Ah, uh, another dark side fill viewer, I see. Should I tell you about cover? Here we go. Can can can, can Brazil even miss? Ah, damn. Missed the target. I jinxed it. I'm sorry. That was my fault. What's cover? Cover balls. I feel commander. <laughs> Mario Soul says, okay, so I loaded up XCOM and hit Overwatch. All of the sectors started clapping, so I think I did it right. <laughs> how do you think Jake Sullivan would feel if he saw how we play this game right now? Like, if Jake was forced to sit here for, like, one full day of this XCOM kitchen stream, how do you think he'd feel? What do you think his reaction would be? Do you think I can sponsor him for $300 to watch one of my streams? 
you're right, probably not. I only got to like one time make Jake watch my play and know he was there and see him live next to me. And that reaction where he felt bad for the aliens as I like kill zone trapped them in a, in a valleyway in like a death corridor in XCOM 2 gave me like real life. It gave me a taste for something I, I'll never get again. I literally had the developer of XCOM City next to me and he was like watching in fear at something that was like Tuesday for me. And I'll never have that again. It was a really special experience, folks. Swift says, Jake didn't even respond when we showed him Twitch integration has come too. It's true. We've never even got Jake's uh, Twitch, Twitch integration response. Swift, do you think he saw it? Do you think he never even saw it? Like he just never made him, he never checked the notification? Or do you think he saw it and was just like, eh. <laughs> Fuck this. Jake, look, we made Twitch integration in XCOM 2, yeah? Why don't you make like a tree and fuck off? Jake, no. Okay, I don't think they're coming, actually. I think I'm gonna go kill them. Oh, wait! Whoa! 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 Here we go! I would actually believe that if you had a block list for XCOM mentions as a swing for Isn't Jake also like seven uh, feet tall? Yeah, he is. That's actually true. Gordon says, I feel like suits are trying to convince Jake to put in Twitch integration in XCOM 3's microtransactions. Okay, one, don't get hit. Two, you know Jake doesn't work at Fraxis anymore, right? Is this like a, is this like a conspiracy? Oh, they took him to Area 51. He's working under it. He's working on it off the books. So it'll be an extra secret for all the loyal XCOM fans. Bye bye. Why do you think Jake hasn't announced his new game dev studio yet? He still works there, he's in the basement. <laughs> game dev Black Ops. <laughs> Are we starting a new conspiracy? Oh, finally! The drones are like, fuck this! Yes! Dead. Destroyed. You know it. You know the LMG's gonna hit. The LMG always hits. Was that three or four? I think it's, um... I think it was, um, doesn't fucking matter, actually. And I got the sectoid! Let's go! The skunk works, Jake works. Rack Savage says, yeah, they announced Civ 7 at the end of it also announced that Jake left along with the other XCOM lead. Bit of a shit announcement, to be honest. Wait, you mean Garf? Or did... I mean, Norda's still there. Norda's the new XCOM lead is what I'm saying. That's my not a conspiracy theory, just a theory. Fuck, I hope PG's not in the chat right now. <laughs> Jake was abducted by the aliens. For being coincidentally too close to the truth. <laughs> Get out of here, drones! This is a good day. This is a bright day. This isn't Pet Cemetery Day. This is good day. I'm hope pilled and bright maxing. Everything's going well for me today. Stoop says I always OBG isn't in the chat. Oh, that's me. The They teased underwater stuff in 1 and 2 and haven't done any, the underwater remake. So you think that they've put Jake in the Titan Submersible 2 to go and get research, right? That's what's happening? Copy that. I feel, Commander. I feel, Commander. It's killing time. That drone will not approach me. It is not brave enough. I'm going to shoot it. That drone is not brave enough to approach me. It's going to it's going to go away. I'm sure of it. It's going to go like over here and not shoot me. It's going to go back and forth. Watch me. Watch me. Okay, over there it's going to come back. Nope. Slow flank. There we go. 
Nah, I will leave the suppression, but I don't I don't think it'll shoot me anyway. Anyway, I'm just gonna kill it. What Beagle doesn't know is that Fraxis is actually using XCOM to end his game, Beagle, and have him fight real battles. Jake Neal wouldn't let it continue. So it says Frax is horrified that Beagle's chat is spending money to add real combatants into a real war. <laughs> uh, you hit that drone for six? It was Shredded, buddy. Come on. If only you had Shredder in your mind, Swift. If only you'd made Shredder work with normal weapons, you'd, you'd remember that. Moving to Overwatch. I shouldn't have told you. I should have just been like, yeah, so everyone's just like good sometimes. Overwatch. Aye, aye. So this is, oh, was it? I'm not really watching. What are you doing? It says with. <laughs> Transcoder says Jake is on USS Jimmy Carter. All I'm gonna say. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> what do you mean? All you're gonna say? <laughs> I think I'm gonna have to root these two sectoids out. Blinky says, imagine being a real soldier and realizing that some weirdo won a raffle and now your actual name is Mustang Thanos and you're gonna die. Why? It's just like NASCAR. It's just like sponsorships. Okay, we're gonna push them, I think. Oh god, can I double push them right now? Ayo, I can. If I dare, I do dare. Head into that location. Hello, motherfuckers! Heading to that location. Oh, dearie, dearie me. Yes. Do your little death knell, sectoid. It's your last one. Bye -bye. Like fish in a barrel. This is one of the best positions in the game, I'm now realizing. Like, you've even got this spot that they flank themselves on for you? This is like the anti-sectoid map. This is the anti-sectoid cliff. This is the, the cliff of democracy. There's more- Yeah, that was only like the, the, the second natural pod. Anti-trash hill. Yeah, this is good hill. What's, what's the opposite of trash hill? Freedom hill. I always call this map construction uh, highway, but now I'm gonna call it like freedom hill. This hill is incredible. Until I fight lids or berserkers or discs or mutons or floaters or thin men or muton elites or probably mectoids or seekers. It's anti sectoid hill. We're gonna go with that. March Liberation Hill. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, go look for more of them. Got it. Trojan says, when, we, when can we buy maps? How much money to turn the next abduction into Mumbo Train Yard? You, you could never do that. It's technically not possible, I'm sorry. I'm on it, Commander. Subject says, what if you have to fight the seal from the other side? But you go, great, I'll just run up here with grenades. <laughs> That's why mutons would be bad. Say Crisis says, idiot hill. Interesting suggestion. Hyphenated says, the map builder spent 20 minutes in that corner of the map thinking no one would ever use it. Yeah, and they accidentally made the most fire defensive position against sectoids. Back in 2012, they're like, why would you need a good defensive position against sectoids? They're the weakest enemy in the game. I'm just like screaming. Rock and roll. The screaming of the gift of prophecy. <laughs> Mr. Blinky says any hill Beagle is on is an idiot hill. Okay. I think Blinky's feeling a little bit salty about what I what I did to his uh his sec D joke from before. You wanna XCOM one? We have dozens of enemies, but there's airstrikes. XCOM 2, baby, we have that. Yes, Commander. As a Kutsu says, I'm not sure what this raffle is for. It's for being one of the soldiers or interceptor pilots in this game. I'm on it, Commander. So get your raffles in, open up. Oui, you could be next. Bien sûr, je bouge. Oh, my life for ire. There you go. Yeah, boy. 
Why are they going to give us illuminates? Cover says, if you could bring one non-eagle stratagem to XCOM, which would it be? Three hundred eighty millimeter artillery strike. One twenty. Hmm. Good question. Ask me next time I'm playing Helldivers. We'll think about it while we're using them. Max, you can already get Max. Reinforce. Swift's got it. Reinforce and resupply to give you grenades back. Oh, grenade launcher. XCOM with drop pods to bring an extra shoulder should be pretty cool. Maybe that's how I should flavor the next XCOM 2 campaign. Helldivers campaign. You can you can drop pod in new You can drop pod in new soldiers to replace dead ones, but every mission is a hit and run with constant alien reinforcements that you have to fight through. And you get like the airstrikes and stratagems and shit. Hmm. Things to consider. <laughs> Welcome to XCOM 2 Kitchen Helldivers Edition, featuring Twitch integration sponsored by Monster. <laughs> but chat needs to put the sequence correctly. Yeah, you gotta you gotta Twitch do the, the numbers. I mean the you know what I mean. Got it covered. The arrows. Someone was saying that the um reinforced stratagem is like a sign of the cross. That's affirmative. Is that correct? Up, down, up, down, left, right, up. Like you do a praise up at the end of it? Anybody here sign the cross? Anybody confirm that? Anybody out here signing? Any cross signers in chat? I like the Helldivers XCOM 2 idea, but I, I think it'd be weird to combine it with Kitchen, because then, like, how do you value aliens if you can keep bringing in, like, infinite soldiers? I mean, you gotta run out of barrack space eventually, right? Let's, uh, bring you... Better there now. Yeah. Uh, Cable Capercans is not Catholic, but I have friends who are. Okay. <laughs> okay. Like five different jokes jumped into my head. I'm gonna say none of them. Aye, aye, Commander. <laughs> but I can't stop thinking about them. <laughs> Swift guessed one of them. Did they let you say it? Did they let you say, oh my god? I'm all over it. Enemy ah! in sight. Three. Okay. You're not quite close enough to be gunned down by the LMG yet, but we're working on it. Come to here, because if you go to the right, you activate more crap, probably. Everybody else can just... Get ready for Overwatch spamming. Or just falling back. Now, who sees who here? What's this? Hey, wait a minute. Hey, wait a minute. Who has loss on that? That's not from the truck, surely. What the fuck? What the fuck is that? That is not what I expected loss to be. LMG, why aren't you killing them? Fuck you. Okay, I see. Lost problems. I 
Philip is actually considered a concept for open XCOM Helldivers. You could recreate a decent amount of the features since the stratagems work kind of like grenades. I'd play it, Philip, I'll tell you that much. Chat would get raffled into it and they wouldn't have a choice. Yes, sir. Run. Yo, that was really good, not triggering that Overwatch. That was very good anti-look maxing. Very nice. Let's follow you back so you don't get stuck there. You can stay there, though. Hmm, what's the distance? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. That tile there, a bit of diagonal, let play, but I would get back off these tiles because they are potentially fuckoed. Don't want to be there. Moving out. <laughs> the Smash Bros of religion? New sentences are made every day. Some of them are like the perf of stars. So bright you almost have to look away. That one needs to get grenaded. Goodbye. To you. Don't go on that bulldozer ever. Mm, not ideal. Uh, do me a favor, back off I'm to on, here. Commander. That allows you to take a steadied shot instead. Destroyed. Have a body for me, oh yeah. Go check the corner. Roger that. Nothing? Okay, groovy. Delta, you can come... Oh, what's your will? Will good. Good health. Okay, come tank the log. Ubicación confirmada. On my way. On G. Two left. If I'm lucky, this is the last pod on the map, but I reckon there's going to be at least one more. Do it again! Or I'll shoot first. You might just be able to just shoot him, actually. Can't get him from back here. Can you get him from here? Yeah. Here? What about here? One shot. Two shot. Will says, where's the tier list of religious founders? I wouldn't buy any of the founders packs. They're too expensive. And besides, they're always scams. I remember Arc Age. Check the corner again. Will do. Oh, Overwatch again. This level of loss and tile manipulation. You have to be a very advanced six gun player for this. I know, I know to the viewers. To some of the viewers, it's like he's just moving at incredible speeds. To, to many viewers, I'm moving so fast, I just look like I'm standing still. Um, but the the vibrations, an experienced eye can tell. On the move. Feel it that. Feel it that. Heading to that location. I don't think we're alone out here. Ooh, hello. They're trying to pull back. I think Ninja will be fine. Whoa! Excellent. I love to be right. That Saito is already dead. LMG Overwatch is a gift to humanity. It always works. And it never fails. No, hide advantage? Yeah, I got hide advantage. That's full cover, baby. We'll steady a rocket for that bulldozer. The other one went left, I think. 
I would like to slap that fucker. I think I can get him. But I don't think I can get a rifle there. I guess a shotgun will have to be good enough, right? Let's find Roger out. That. There's one there, there's one back there. Yeah, like, just shotgun him, right? And if not, you can overwatch him. The LMG has two choices. Probably gonna suppress that one. Okay, what's your will? 35. Just hit the 40. Incredible shot. Cinematic, too. Well done. Little round of applause. Wrong button. There you go. Just a little bit of clapping. Just like one clap. Yeah, you can't do the, the GIF clap. There's too much clapping thing. Just do like one emote of the hands open, one emote of the hands closed, like still images. That's too much clapping right now. Okay, we're going to steady the rocket to kill one of them if needed. Parka. I might just shoot. Let's find out. Because I think there should be all the pods on the map. We're going to use high advantage to try and kill this one. They've still only got four health, so it must be later that they get their full stats. Not yet. I can hit that, says Parker. Parker, you are incorrect, but I believe Nutara can do it. Alright. Yes. Agreed. 100% agreed. <laughs> I can't hit that. I didn't say I would. Cat energy. <laughs> Suppress it. There's no flank. Don't know. Overwatch in case everyone wants to run up and do something annoying to me. Nah. Not today. Will says, I want to say March 15 is the sector upgrade, but I might be wrong. No, I think you're right, actually. I think it might be March 15. 6% on uh, Fortato. We're fine. Got him a lockdown. Fire superiority. Positional superiority. That is a human superiority, but that sounds like I'm learning the bigotry from within. I'm not going to do that. No, don't say religious superiority. Don't don't say that. There we go. We both missed last turns. So we can both hit this turn. There you go. Sorted. I think this is the last enemy on the map. And I'm decently confident in that proclamation. Destroyed. Mission accomplished. One clap. I'm doing good today. The maps. The situations. Everything is kind to me today. New do a donation from Oxia. It Aww. was perhaps too much to expect you to risk the lives of your specialists, but next mission as cinque rookies, perhaps you will. <laughs> Consider them more expendable. Venti mila cento venti dollari. Hmm. But also, I get paid two dollars for your announcements after every metal canister I miss. So that's this is a win-win. Pancho says, "Did Beagle start late, or did the government steal an hour from me?" Probably both. That was a good one. Yeah, really good start to this campaign so far. Next up should be the small crash. We'll have a uh, attack. So I'm probably gonna random you. I get to see. Oh, we get to see perks. Hey, who wants to see perks? Anybody? Anybody want to see some perks here? Perks, anyone? What have we got? We've got immediate savior, which we know how powerful that is with how long it can take us to get Thin Man Autopsy. However, there is also Close Combat Specialist. Muscle Fiber is also good, but not for you. Close Combat Specialist with a 6 health medic with 70 aim is not a bad idea, but it's probably going to be savior. Savior is just so good. Um... <laughs> uh, I forgot that time was being stolen tonight, wrote West Coast Ginger. I love some people's Twitch names. Potato has repair, shredder, ammo, or platform step. Yo, gun with shred. Incredible. Really good roll, Potato. Uh, Ninja Spectator, lightning. Oh my god, heat ammo and heat warheads. Ah! Your cannon's locked, gets rapid fire. 
or adaptive bone marrow on the scout. Is this the power of flattening the perks and having them all be as equal to spawn? This is crazy. This is like what I thought it would be like when we did Training Roulette Plus. I would be like, oh, my soldiers are going to be so good. Shredder, duh. But then Smoke, Swift. Then Smoke. Then Smoke is so good. I, I might take Den Smoke. Double Tap's also good there. Rocket just have one job. No, in Training Roulette they don't, you fucker. That's the point of Training Roulette. Everyone has multiple jobs. Getting all the good ones out of the way so they can't get picked later. I reckon the soldier's gonna be too good. I reckon in like two or three weeks from now, not a single person's died in this campaign. And um, we're gonna be like, oh, we gotta tone down the so- Don't. Don't do that. Eight mail, 23 fragments, 14 alloys, 14 lyriums, seven drone wrecks, and 16 set of corpses. Okay. We will be in touch, Commander. Time to money max. Let's do it. We're getting some sats, baby. So that is 21 days. Get the sats first. Can you post your TR plus INI changes to the Discord? If you remind me afterwards, yes. Your best bet is to PM me. Our current satellite uplink facilities are at full capacity. We should build additional uplinks. But at, at least ping me, so I have a notification. Pretty much the only way you can get me to respond to something is if there's a red notification on Discord telling me to do it, and even that is iffy. But that's your best bet. I'm still having a hard time grasping. I do this thing sometimes where, like, I read someone's message and I'm like, I'll reply to that later, and then I don't. That's usually when people get ignored accidentally. My bad. Seemingly at random. There must be a pattern that we haven't established yet. Don't waste any hollow globe time. You don't want these sats to fuck up. We have a full day though, so it should be okay. Um, now I just need to get um enough money to get the uplink built uh, in the next four days, essentially. Hopefully I get the UFO, but if not... Oh, we're good. We can, we can get an uplink. So, boom. Three satellites and uplink coming this month. I'm... Da, da 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 I'm loving it. I forgot I could cancel the lift. So I can keep the lift going. I can keep excavating. What's my max... Max fungible right now? Okay, so $236 is my max money I can make right now. Got that fucking sound? What sound? So I can hit the next excavation immediately, which is good because I want to go power here. I want like an immediate fission as well, I think. Keep the lifts coming. Because the first lab block goes down here on this side. We're going to get another lift. Boom. Laboratory. Also want to excavate here for next up like next month. I'm trying to maximize my base play this time. I'm trying to finally be good at the strategy game. OCS goes here, so I'm going to keep excavating because OCS is going to go there. Jedi says the Catholic Bible was the first NFT. Shut up. Okay, I think I'm good. I think I'm just waiting now until interceptions. Are labs and workshops more important? I genuinely don't know. Um... Labs. I'm gonna go labs first. Labs first, workshop second. Workshops before Gauss is the idea. Did you make any changes to air game from last run? Nope. Quick go go, yes, yes, mission three. No mission three, we're done for the day. Workshops normally says swift. Oh really? Didn't you go labs first to get the most out of it? Like lasers aren't that expensive. Yeah, labs are important early to maximize, I feel like, as Bounty says, and then workshop more important late. That's how I feel too. I don't make labs till after gangplank. Why even make labs? 340 stream. Yeah, I started late, sorry. But, time to scan. Excavation complete. Time to keep excavating. I just keep feeling like I've forgotten something, but there's literally nothing to forget at this point. Everything is fine. Everything is fine. Everything is fine. Build another lift. No, I can't afford a second lift yet. I need the vision first. 
I should be building a fission. Sell all the Illyrium for a star. Illyrium is useless right now, right? No, you need four of it for alien mats, but I'm not going to build alien mats till after beams, right? Right. Okay, so yeah. I was thinking about going, um... No, never mind. Shut up, Beagle. Anyway. Sell the Illyrium. Get me enough to start building a fission right now, I think. Beagle, that'd be silly to get alien mats after Xenobiology. No, I need to get beam lasers. I don't have time for that. Lyrium drones and sectoids in the bin. And you've got to sell a little bit more of... Not meld, so probably weapon fragments. You don't look decent council requests, you have to sell shit like this. Yeah, I guess. I'm receiving you. We'll That's true, because then you get alloys and fragment requests, forward. right? That's true. Well, you turn alloys and 40 weapon fragments for beam. Yeah, well, luckily we're not there yet. We'll get more. Uh, let's go with Fission immediately. Fission there would have been smarter to make it make advantage of the Thermo. Maybe I, in five days I can just put it here instead. Probably, yeah, probably, probably what I'm going to do. Just... Yep, detected. okay, here we go. Good, good, good. Who's taking it? Raffles! Intercept the pilot raffles, let's go! Who's first up to the plate? Why power immediately? Because I'm trying to sell everything I get to get a really strong base early. When selecting a specific jet within the hangar, you can choose to modify its current weapon loadout to best serve our needs. Bup. Bup. The first interceptor pilot successful raffle is... Jedi Box says my dad was an FA-18A pilot. This is my destiny. Holy shit, that's awesome. You can talk now after your first NFT comment. Man of Answers, you're back as an interceptor pilot. Give perk. You, you know you know what? I've already I've already made it a thing. You know what? Nah. Don't name any interceptor pilots yet. Contact detected. We have eyes on the bandit. Okay. Definitely don't name this one. Contact detected. Really robbed? Bang Hang out. on. Boom. Central, this is Voodoo 37. We have a confirmed kill on Bogey 001. I repeat, the UFO is down. I'll copy, over. Solid copy, Voodoo 3. Let's get into it, Bradford. You know what? I was just thinking about it. I was thinking, like... I mean, it's cool to get intercepted pilot raffles when you know it's what you entered for, but wouldn't it feel bad to know that the two people who just got raffled for interceptor pilots wouldn't get to be soldiers on the mission that's right afterwards. And so instead, Man of Answers will return as the first rookie. I don't know who the first rookie is yet, but I'm gonna pick him right now. That has fewer raffles, that's right, you fuckers. I like the Riddler. Five health. Twelve mobility. Twenty-eight will. Seventy aim. Minus two defense. The Riddler get in. R round of applause, everyone. Again, one last one for Man of Answers. He's back, folks. He's back! Alright, that's enough. That's today. 
Hope you enjoyed. Tomorrow we'll be back with another day of XCOM Kitchen, where I hopefully start on time because I have to test and set up the new mods. Uh, we're going to be starting with UFO number one. I hope it goes well. It'll be a small mission at least. Um, thank you very much, Oxian. From Oxian. I will. Beagle, remember you just PM me, you know, you don't have to pay me. Thank you. Thank you very much. There will be one specialist on the mission, and I kind of want to find out what they will be. But I also kind of want Parker Boy to be an infantry. But I need to take specialists on the mission. So I'm going to random them into something else, because with TR, they can turn into anything. They could be anything. So I'm going to random you, Parker Boy, and I'm going to find out what you are. And you are... Okay, I'll take it. You are a 6 health, minus 5 defense, nice. 76 aim, 36 will gunner. Your will isn't great, but your minus defense is going to make you an obvious target of suppression. You got good health, hopefully you tank. This isn't amazing for... Being the only specialist on the team, because there isn't really high ground to explore the LMG on this one, but we'll do our best. All right. Ah, oh, because I didn't reset it yet, Blinky. It's not automatic. That is the day. I hope you all had fun. I'll be back tomorrow for more XCOM Kitchen for UFO One. I think if tomorrow goes well, we're in the runnings for a good new campaign. Hopefully, I don't fuck it up tomorrow. Um, GG to everyone. Thank you to uh, Pasalan Kokuri, twenty-one month sub. Ghost Wizard, seventeen month sub. Isidro, twenty-four month sub. Grats on your two years of subbing. In a row, Isidro. Thank you very much. Emperor Nut. Subscribe 17 months in a row. Anonymous gifted the sub to Moobot. Thank you for keeping Moobot going. 70 months sub for Moobot. Goodness me. Uh, Mistritra, subscribe. Welcome to subscribe, Mistritra. Thank you. Never answered your question about um, Prawn Hub. Say Crisis, 14 months sub. Axial Dispersion, 56 months sub. I think it was you. <laughs> Dar Selector, 59 months sub. Play Solari, 9 months sub. Chris Tucker, 5 months sub. Oh, good luck with the new run, Biggs. Thank you, Chris Tucker. We appreciate it. What, what sportsmanship? One more time, everyone. That's enough. Alier, 73 month sub. Thank you for your 73 month sub, Alier. Rio Viol, 76 month sub. General Spoon, 12, 104 month sub. Pimpledore, 49 months. Um, Sodalade, 56 months. Nexus, 199, 70 months. Starbright Forever, Raid of the Party 11. Thank you, Starbright, and credits. Thank you so much to my Kofis. I wish you haven't updated because I'm very, uh, like, bad. I'm a very bad person, and I've been doing other shit instead, like getting the mods ready. I'm sorry. There's no, it's, it's no excuse, but, you know, please accept my excuses. Um, we're raiding someone. Thank you, Kofi's, for keeping us afloat. Uh, we're raiding. We're raiding, we're raiding, raiding. Wow, Nemi Nemi's playing for honor. What the fuck? That's kind of awesome. I kind of want to raid Bed Bananas, though. I kind of want to raid Bed Bananas. What? What? Class. She's playing Valkyrie. Oh, next time. Next time. She keeps playing for honor next time. I do love for honor. We're going to raid Bed Banana. Because we have, like, a big lot of numbers for once. Bed Banana has, like, 800 to 1,000 viewers. And I feel like a pathetic little worm when I raid of only, like, um, like, like 100 or 200 people from my average day streams. Um, which, which, by the way, uh, it's not, it's not a reflection. You know, you're not. It's a personal feeling. Hey, if you raid this channel with, like, one viewer, you're not a pathetic little worm. That's, that's, <laughs> that, that, that's not what I said. And no one thought that. Um, it's just, it's just a me, it's just an insecurity, that's all. So it's just nice that we have 435 people, and we can do a, a big raid over to Bed Bananas, who is bigger than me. So... Um... I'll see you guys tomorrow, bye-bye. Have a good one, everyone. And see you from where I come. Tomorrow, day two. See you then, bye-bye.